Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Honda Mower model number HRN216 VKA. Uh, I just picked this up brand new yesterday from Home Depot. It retails just a little over $400. Uh, so we're going to talk about this a little bit. It comes straight out of the box, pre-assembled like this. Um, the assembly is pretty easy you just have to do is just lift up on this bar here now I will pull the starter cord a little bit so you have a little bit of resistance and it just locks right here just turn these knobs sideways it should lock like that and this one over here it'll lock in place and that is assembly is done it's pretty much as far as the mower goes now you will get the bag here you know, get a honda, honda on the side it does not come pre-assembled it comes with a cage and it comes with the netting uh, all you gotta do it just slips right on and it slides over the bars here just like that on all sides and it's fairly lightweight um so as far as the mower goes, we'll start in the front here. It comes slammed all the way to the ground at level one. In the back. Uh, I'm probably gonna set up to at least, probably three, three and a half. I don't like to have it all the way low. Uh, let's see if I can do it with one hand. Okay, yeah, it's, I can punch this with one hand, which that makes it pretty easy. Let's try the rear here. May have to stop it. The rear is a little tougher, but still not terribly bad. Put that down there for now. Um, here's your bag and mulch settings. To move it to bag, pull back on the handle. Locks there. Set it back to mulch. Um, <clears throat> here's your air filter there uh, here is your kill switch valve comes with a little handy picture tells you what's gas on gas off uh, of course your gas cap the oil uh, does come with one bottle of honda 10w30 oil the whole bottle goes in there I'll show that side here's the exhaust um We'll go look towards the back. It just is self-propelled and does have an auto choke, so there's no priming involved. Of course, you got your blade control. And for your, your other control, and a brain fart. Um, the bag goes on pretty easily. Let's see if I can do this one hand. This lifts up. Let me swap hands here. Oops. Sorry about that. And it interlocks, as you can see there, and there. And that is pretty much it. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some gas in it, raise my wheels up to about three and a half, and I'll do one pass on mulch, on one pass on bag, and uh, we'll see the difference is. All right, so they say it's supposed to be just a one pull start. So we're going to test it. I got fresh gas in the tank. Pull back in the lever and let's see what happens. Okay, not quite one. There we go. First pass with the bag. I don't know if you can tell, but looks like it did an okay job. I've cut through this fairly thick grass here. Um, so now we're gonna do a pass with the mulch. And cut. So 
I just did a pass with just the, the mulch setting. And uh, I mean, of course you have some these leaves here that's still loose, but overall, uh, wasn't too bad. It felt, the more felt pretty good. The sulfur pelt is, is uh, pretty quick, so be prepared for that. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this with this mower. Uh, so I hope this review helped you out and catch you guys later.